Why wasn't Tesla's cyber cab shown at CES 2026, yet it still received more attention than Amazon's Zook's robo-taxi in the U.S. robo-taxi race? Let's get straight to the point. CES 2026 is no longer about flashy new electric cars. This year, the spotlight belongs to robo-taxis and artificial intelligence. And on the surface, Amazon Zook seems to be everywhere. It's one of the most talked about names at the event. So why is Tesla's highly anticipated cybercab missing from CES 2026? What is Elon Musk really doing? And could this absence actually be part of a much bigger strategy? The truth is, Tesla skipping CES is not a failure. It may be one of the most important strategic moves in the entire robo-taxi battle of 2026. At CES in Las Vegas, Amazon-owned Zooks made a strong showing. Its purpose-built robo-taxi was on full display, and the company is already running fully driverless ride-hailing services in Las Vegas and selected parts of San Francisco. Unlike companies that modify existing cars, Zooks built its vehicle entirely from scratch for autonomy. The Zooks robo-taxi has no front or back, uses four-wheel steering, and is designed to move efficiently through dense city streets. It's a bold design that clearly shows Zooks is serious about autonomous transport. Zooks relies on what engineers call multi-sensor fusion. Its vehicles are packed with LiDAR, radar, cameras, and even thermal sensors. The idea is simple. If one sensor fails or struggles, the others step in. It's a traditional, safety-first approach. Tesla has chosen a very different and much harder path. The cybercab is built on a vision-only AI system. No LiDAR towers. No bulky sensor stacks. Tesla believes software can do what hardware never truly can. Understand context, predict behavior, and adapt in real time, just like a human driver. While Zooks highlights low accident numbers within carefully controlled areas, Tesla is training its system at a scale no competitor can match. Millions of Teslas are already driving on real roads every day. They continuously send driving data back to Tesla. This allows CyberCab's AI to learn from almost every situation imaginable. Busy cities, unpredictable pedestrians, bad weather, strange lighting, and rare edge cases that simulations simply cannot recreate. This data advantage cannot be bought, no matter how much money a company has. When it comes to safety, Zooks emphasizes multiple airbags and constant remote human supervision. That approach quietly admits something important. Humans are still the final safety backup. Tesla's philosophy is completely different. CyberCab is designed with the belief that the software itself must be good enough to stand alone. It doesn't just react to danger. It actively avoids risky situations before they ever become a problem. This is not a vehicle being watched. It's a vehicle taking responsibility for itself. Manufacturing reveals another major gap. Zooks operates a 220,000 square foot factory that can produce up to 10,000 vehicles per year. That's impressive for a startup. But for Tesla, that scale is barely a pilot program. CyberCab is designed to be built like consumer technology, using production systems Tesla has refined for more than a decade. When Tesla decides to scale, it doesn't think in thousands. It thinks in hundreds of thousands, even millions. That's the difference between a local service and a global transportation platform. Zooks delivers convenience within tightly geofenced areas. Tesla is targeting something much bigger, a complete shift in how people move. For older adults, especially those who can no longer drive safely, CyberCab offers real independence. No fixed routes. No limited zones. No need to rely on family or schedules. You open an app, and the car arrives anytime, day or night. Zooks is operating today, and that matters. But Tesla is preparing to launch something designed to scale so aggressively 
it could reshape urban transportation worldwide. While many companies show concepts and prototypes, Tesla is focused on the hardest problem of all, software that can function in the real world at real scale. By 2026, the autonomous vehicle industry is expected to cross a historic threshold. Tesla's CyberCab, powered by full self-driving version 14.3, is designed to be the moment when passengers can truly fall asleep while the vehicle drives itself, with no steering wheel, no pedals, and no human oversight. Elon Musk has repeatedly said this is not an experiment. It's the natural result of Tesla's long-term strategy. Scalable, software-driven autonomy for everyone. At first glance, Zooks may seem ahead. It already operates steering wheel-free vehicles in select cities. But when you look deeper, Tesla and Zooks represent two very different philosophies. The biggest difference is data. As of 2025, Tesla vehicles running supervised FSD have driven over 7 billion real-world miles across multiple countries. No other autonomous driving program comes close. Zooks operates a limited fleet in tightly controlled urban areas. Tesla trains its AI across diverse roads, weather cultures, and driving behaviors. That diversity accelerates learning and allows Tesla's system to generalize far beyond a few mapped cities. In autonomy, data is destiny, and Tesla's lead is massive. Design also matters. Zook's vehicles look robotic, box-shaped, symmetrical, and inward-facing. They feel more like experimental pods than cars. This design works for short city trips, but it limits emotional acceptance. Tesla CyberCab looks familiar, clean, modern, and consistent with Tesla's design language. Without bulky sensor towers, it blends naturally into traffic. People trust what looks normal. Tesla understands that mass adoption depends on psychology as much as technology. Hardware cost is another major difference. Zook's vehicles use expensive sensor stacks and computing hardware. Each vehicle is estimated to cost well over six figures and will never be sold to consumers. They exist only as fleet assets. Tesla removes LiDAR and radar entirely. CyberCab relies on cameras and neural networks. This dramatically reduces cost and complexity. The estimated price of a Tesla autonomous vehicle is low enough for both fleet use and private ownership. That cost gap defines scalability. Zooks can expand city by city. Tesla can expand globally. Zooks vehicles depend on detailed maps and strict geofencing. Tesla's system reasons visually like a human. It adapts dynamically to road changes power outages, and unexpected events. Cities are messy and unpredictable. Autonomy that depends on perfection cannot win long-term. Zooks offers a ride. Tesla is building an ecosystem. Tesla's robo-taxi network will include both Tesla-owned cybercabs and privately-owned Teslas that can join the network when not in use. This creates powerful incentives for owners to earn money while their car drives itself. CyberCab is not just a vehicle. It's a node in a decentralized transportation platform. Tesla's confidence is already visible. CyberCab units have undergone crash testing at Giga Texas. Test vehicles are now operating without safety drivers on board. Elon Musk himself has been driven around Austin with no human supervision. Mass production is currently targeted for spring 2026. Musk has even suggested that Giga Texas could eventually produce one cyber cab every five seconds. That sounds unbelievable, but Tesla isn't building this like a traditional car. It's building it like high-speed consumer electronics. Tesla has also prepared for real-world operations, including cleaning policies and passenger behavior rules ensuring vehicles stay functional without drivers. While comparisons between Tesla, Zooks, and Waymo are common, they often miss the bigger picture. Waymo operates impressive driverless fleets today. 
Tesla is deliberately holding back until human supervision is completely removed. Once that happens, Tesla's scaling becomes exponential. The bottleneck is not hardware. It's the final removal of humans. Once that line is crossed, everything changes. So the real question isn't why Tesla skipped CS 2026. The question is whether Tesla is about to leap far ahead while others focus on demonstrations. Is vision-only AI the future of autonomy? Or does sensor-heavy redundancy win in the long run? Let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the future of robo-taxis, make sure to subscribe to Device Dimension for the latest Tesla, AI, and future technology updates. Hit the like button, share this video, and turn on notifications so you never miss what's coming next. This is Device Dimension, and we'll see you in the next one.